All right, this is the uh, Tennessee End of Course Algebra 2 practice test. Question number 21. The question says a building has a square base. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a square here. I think Huey Lewis said it's hip to be square. Find that on YouTube. Um, so anyway, the square base with an area of 5,625 square feet. So all of this inside would be 5,625. Five, and that's the worst 5,625 you'll ever see. So good news for you. You won't see anything worse. Uh, the scale model of the building, because why wouldn't you want a scale model of a building in your house, has a, a base with an area. And we're going to assume that it's also a square, even though this is a terribly drawn square. Much smaller square. There we go. Forget you ever saw that. Of 0 0.81. Uh, what is the ratio of the length of the base of the building to the length of the base of the model? There's a couple components that you have to think about. First off, there's a ratio, so we need to put the information in the order that they want them. They want the building ratio first and then the model second, which means that we need to make sure that we put the big number on top, long story short. Um, the other issue is they're not asking about a relationship between the two areas. They want to know about the lengths of the building. Well, the length and the width are pretty much interchangeable in a square, so it would just be here. The reality is when I have a square structure and I need to find one of the sides, I'm going to take the square root because if I had a square, I had this scenario here. So if I had a building with sides 3, if I make a square out of it, it's 9, which is why 3 squared is 9. Now to find the root, which would be the bottom row, I would take the square root of 9 blocks together and get 3. Going back to our problem, if I have a square with 5,625 uh, blocks in it, I need to find that bottom row, or the root, I need to take the square root of 5,625. So I'm going to go ahead and take the square root, and you probably might want to use a calculator for that unless you can just do it in your head. And if you can, why are you watching this? So I get 75, and for the square root of 0.81, I'm looking for the root, remember? That will give me that length that I'm looking for, so square root of 0.81. I'm going to hit enter and I get 0.9. Uh, some people in their lives like to you know, reduce fractions and things. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that really fast. And I'm actually switching calculators because I have a bunch of them in my room. And I'm too lazy to remember how to use the one I was already working with. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I just felt like you needed to know. Welcome to my life. Um, so the final answer that I end up getting is 250 over 3. So the issue is set up the ratio. So you have the thing that comes first on top and the thing that comes second on the bottom. Make sure that you have the square roots because they're asking about length and not about area. And then finally, make sure you get your right answer plugged in. You circle the right thing. That way you can make your points, get your diploma, and all those nice and wonderful things. So good luck.